In this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a line. To find the equation of a line in Cartesian form, that means in terms of x and y, the easiest thing to do is to use the equation y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. You can see if we rearrange this equation, we could actually get m equals y minus y1 over x minus x1, um, which is basically saying the gradient equals the change in y over the change in x. So to find the equation of a line, we require, using the equation above, the gradient and a point the line goes through. So let's see an example of that. Finding the equation of a line with a gradient of 3 that goes through the point 2 and 5. So if we remember, we're going to use y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. The gradient is 3, so m is 3. x1 is 2 y1 is 5, so substituting those three values into the equation above, we get y minus 5 equals 3, open bracket, x minus 2. Now we could rearrange that to make it y equals, but we don't need to. What about finding the equation from two points? Now there are several ways of doing this, but if we want to do it with that formula, the first thing we do is we find the gradients. So the gradient is just going to be the change in y, delta y, over the change in x, delta x. So I'm choosing to do the second um, point minus the first point, so it's 15 minus 7 over 4 minus 2. It's really important that we're consistent in that, otherwise we can end up the wrong sign. So that's 8 over 2, which is 4. We can use either point, but I'm choosing to use 2, 7, so that's going to give me x1 is 2 y1 is 7, and then just substitute our m, x1 and y1 back into the equation above, and we get y minus 7 equals 4, x minus 2. So what about finding the equation from a point and a parallel line? Well, this is really like our first example. Our line, y equals 2x plus 3, has a gradient of 2. So we have m equals 2. We're using our point here, so we've got x1 equals minus 2, y1 equals 4. Substitute the three points back into the equation, and we get y minus 4 equals 2, open bracket, x plus 2. What about finding the equation and from a point in a perpendicular line? Well, the gradient of our line is 2, and the gradient of the perpendicular of that is going to be the negative reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2, which is a half, and the negative reciprocal is minus a half. And we've got x1 is minus 2, we've got y1 is 4, substitute those three values back into our equation, and we get y minus 4 equals minus a half times all of x plus 2. Here's a couple of practice questions for you to try. If you want to pause the video, see what you get, and check your answers with the ones that I'm going to show you shortly. Okay, so in this one here, the line's got a gradient of 5, so m is 5, x1 is minus 2, y1 is minus 4, substituting those into y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, and we get the equation we've got here. Notice we've got plus 4 and plus 2 because that's um, because we've got double negatives. Next one, find the equation of the line through these two points. So we find the gradient first of all. So that's going to be um, m equals 0 minus minus 4 and 0 minus minus 2. I'm being consistent in the order that I'm using those again and I get 2. Now, I've actually gone for x1 equals minus 2 and y1 equals minus 4. That was actually a bit of a silly thing to do, really, because a simpler one would have been to use x1 equals 0 and y1 equals 0. But anyway, so that's going to give me y minus minus um, 4, which um, is y plus 4, equals 2, open bracket, x minus minus 2. Um, if I'd have used the 0, 0, we'd have simply had y equals 2x, which would have been much simpler. Here are two questions for you to try on your own. Get your answers, share your answers with your friends, and discuss what you've got. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.